decent, hardworking Americans. Extending it makes financial sense, economic sense, and it especially makes middle class sense. Across America, prices are stabilizing and the inventory of homes for sale is trending downward toward a point where market forces do not favor either the buyer or the seller. When people buy homes, they purchase appliances and curtains and a whole list of durable goods. So the positive impact of the local economy is more than just the actual purchase. It supports other jobs. The program is working for America's families and for America. During the congressional debate last winter, the National Association of Realtors forecast that the first time home buyer tax credit would generate a half a million homes. The actual number is 1.4 million homes. And that benefits local governments too because of real estate and other local taxes that help pay for vital community services like police and fire. And if the program is extended and possibly expanded, there is new forecast of the impact and it's very impressive. The second chart shows what can happen if we keep going a little longer and jobs and wages across the country, including my state and the congressional district. The U.S. would expect 347,000 jobs with wages of $16 billion. Washington State, 8,000 jobs with $375 million in, in wages. The first time home buyer credit has nurtured a fragile housing market to better health in just six months. Even if you're not buying a house, you benefit because the housing market is one of the underpinnings of our entire economy and is the largest asset for families. So rebuilding the third, uh, rebuilding the housing market helps us rebuild the economy. As you can see, there are pending home sales. What up the second slide? In this last chart, you can clearly see that the tax credit is taking the housing market and America in the right direction. But this positive news will be threatened if we don't take action now. If it takes 60 days for a mortgage application to be processed, we are nearing the end by November 30th. The tax credit is the foundation of the fragile housing market recovery that we are expecting to see across this country. Now is not the time to mess with success. The home buyer tax credit works and it keeps it working by extending the program into the next year. The Congress should act immediately on this because the slowdown is just around the corner if we don't keep the tax credit there. The gentleman yields back. Mr. Poe, Texas. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Madam Speaker, the United States government plans to abandon our current missile defense plan in Europe. That will leave this country more vulnerable. Why would we want to do that? With Iran in a race to get the nuclear bomb and testing long-range missiles, America and Europe are at risk. But the American government decided to abandon the current missile defense shield to be installed in Poland and the accompanying radar system in the Czech Republic. This system was to protect Europe and the United States from a missile launched from Iran. The whole world knows that the little man from the desert, Aminajad, is building nuclear weapons and intercontinental ballistic missiles that could send nukes to the Middle East, Europe, and the United States. We have agreements with Poland and the Czech Republic for defensive missile systems. Don't we have an obligation to protect America from the threats of tyrants like Aminajad? We should not break our word with our allies. America loses its credibility with our allies by failing to live up to our commitments. Madam Speaker, America and Poland have a special relationship. This body just voted to grant honorary U.S. citizenship to Kazimierz Pulaski, the father of the American Calvary. He was born in Poland and he was essential to our victory in the American War for Independence. Congress commissioned this Polish individual Pawlowski as a brigadier general with the command of all the American cavalry. And after training American troops for a year, Washington approved the formation of an independent corps of cavalry. And Pawlowski's legend became, or legion, became the training ground for American cavalry officers like Light Horse Harry Lee, the father of